That's what I think. But it's funny because you even said it like in that. And... All right, guys, welcome to Chase and Glory Speed, not Speed Round. Are you ready? Fire away. You're in the hot seat. Are you nervous? Don't get nervous. <laughs> I get sweaty. You're the big man. <laughs> All right. Most embarrassing store you might have been seen shopping at? Fair Villa. What is a Fair Villa? Adult sex shop. <laughs> <laughs> You're admitting it right here. Wow. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh, it's a hot dog. <laughs> I mean, is the hot dog a sandwich? Oh no, it's a hot dog. <laughs> I love it. Trick question. <laughs> Some people call it a sandwich. I'm like, what? Really? No. It's a hot dog. You said it. All right. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Invisibility. Why? So I could go into public and not get pestered every six feet I walk. As much as I love it, there's also times where I'm on a schedule and I got stuff to do and I can't stop and talk to everybody for three minutes because if yeah. I talk to every person for three minutes, guess what? My day's over. Right. So the invisibility would be and get out of there because I'm sure you were thinking, oh, I wonder why. No, no I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> you it's literally so, yeah, I could get through the airport, get through if I'm like, oh my God, like trying to go to the mall. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Even with a mask and sunglasses, because of your size. Yeah, I mean, and dude, I heard that you went from five eight to six four between ninth grade and senior year. What? Yeah. How the heck? I didn't sleep. You talk about growing pains and all that stuff. Really? Oh my God. I used to scream in the nights, and my parents would be like, "What is going on? I don't know what's wrong with me." Oh, like my wow. legs, and I, I still have really bad like restless leg syndrome and all that stuff. But when I was a younger teenager, like I can remember laying in bed and I would rub, I would the only way I could comfort like the stuff I would rub my feet together. I would rub my feet raw, like rubbing them together because of the pain in my legs when I was growing, and I had like stretch marks in my legs and stuff. And, it and was, nobody knew what was happening. Yeah, well, I mean, eventually we figured it out. Well, that's that's a huge growth spurt. Yeah. Are you glad though, though, in in the end that you it, ended up? Oh yeah. I mean, I love being the monster among men. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's great. There's a lot of cool stuff that comes along with being a semi giant or whatever I am. Yeah. But it's also it's a burden at times too. Like flying's not fun. Like uh, clothes shopping's a pain in the butt. Yeah. Big Show always talked about how going to Europe was oh, like my, a nightmare yeah. because the beds were all yeah. Hey, or yeah, they go. I'm like, yeah, we got you a king room, and you go over there, and it's two twins pushed together yeah. with a sheet over top of them, and you like fall asleep, and you wake up in the middle of the night, and you're stuck between them, and then I'm freaking out because I can't get out of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. No, it's, I can laugh image. at it, but it is. Yeah, yeah. We oh. get a good mental image of that because it's happened multiple times. Really? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> All right. What is the biggest? What is your biggest pet peeve? I think just like people being rude for no reason, like yelling at people in public. Like I don't, I don't get that. Like. <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't understand the whole aspect of like screaming at people. Like when I see people yelling in public, mm -hmm. I, I just like why why are you doing this here? Like if you're if you're having an altercation with your significant other or something like that, handle it in private. Like the whole rah, look at me like I'm angry. I don't know. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is just that like fighting out in public. Like handle yourself. Like act like you've been here before. That right. whole thing. Like just Oof. yeah. Great that's lesson. One of my biggest pet peeves. Who inspires you? Man, a lot of people inspire me, but honestly, like my parents. I mean, uh, with the, the the strength that my mother has mentally, and then the things that my dad did, and, and playing ball. Like, I mean, they're my superheroes. And I know that there's a lot of second generation and third generation wrestlers that are here that followed in the footsteps of you know their parents, or mother, father, whatever. Why did you not follow in your father's footsteps? Um, in all honesty. Um, I knew I would never get out of his shadow. I would always be Little Crush or Crusher's boy. And I needed to go out and make my own shadow. I and, love that. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. you just have to. You yeah. have to listen to what you need. I yeah. love that. What is your biggest fear? Being forgotten when I leave. Mm. Don't worry. That will never happen because of the man you are. All right, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? 
Oh, without a doubt, it's just steaks. Oh yeah? Oh, yeah. I eat, well, I mean, that's pretty much all I eat now is red meat. Uh, and you feel good. I, I feel great. I love it. See, some so, people it agrees with. And well, see, I, I'm very lucky, though. I, work, I, I eat a very specific type of beef. It's called the Piedmontese cow. It's only, there's only a handful of ranches in the world that have it. So, like, the whole molecular structure of the beef is different. Through hundreds of years of selective breeding in these cows, um, it almost, the, the, the proteins almost digest like chicken, so it doesn't oh. sit in your stomach for a long time. And where six ounces of this beef has the same amount of protein as 10 ounces of store-bought beef, but half the fat. Well, how, how does the normal person get it? Can everybody Online, get it? yeah. What's it called again? Piedmontese, it's certified piedmontese.com is, is the, or it's actually piedmontese.com is the website, but I've been eating that for almost a year now, and that's part of the reason why my huge change and stuff. Um, the Bell Brothers, um, they both actually wrestled and stuff. Oh. They did the Bigger, Faster, Stronger, Mark and Chris, and they, they're big uh, adversaries and kind of the forefathers for the carnivore diet. And that's what they started eating, so I reached out to them and was like, hey, what's up with this beef? And then they kind of filled me in on it, and I started eating it and saw how much it started changing my body so dramatically and drastically and how I felt better, like I didn't have like as much inflammation because there's no hormones, no steroids, no that bull crap. Love it. Like you get in the store like that and the, uh, that it's all, yeah. what you put in is what you're gonna get out. Wow, that's great advice. Okay, and what is your favorite car to flip? Oh, favorite car to flip. In the grand scheme of things, I really don't like flipping cars. I love automobiles, but like, I don't know. I, I also like breaking stuff. It was pretty fun flipping Vince's limo, except it cost me a hundred grand. You? Yeah, he fined me a hundred thousand dollars for flipping his limo over. Why, was it not meant to be flipped? Nope. Uh, what? You wait, tell me that story. Well, I was just, I got aggravated and flipped it over. <laughs> I didn't know. So it wasn't the storyline or anything like that? Come on, Ah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had me. Ah, oh, oh, Alan, <laughs> after 21 years, I'm still getting hooked. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, thanks for joining me for Speed, Not Speed Round. <laughs> that was great. Oh, my God, you got me.